That severe weather alert, a disaster emergency declaration in Colorado overnight as they clean up from the deadly tornado in Matador, Texas. That's where Faith Abube is for us this morning. Good morning to you, Faith. A good morning to you, Lara. Damage survey teams from the National Weather Service have been on the ground looking at the damage here. They say that they still need more time in order to do more analysis and determine the strength of the tornado. But you can see the damage all around us. Take a look over there. That used to be the neighborhood dollar store. And just like many of the homes and properties here, it's been torn to shreds. <laughs> Overnight, a disaster emergency declaration in Colorado. I mean, it ripped everything up. Four counties south and east of Denver hit hard by heavy rains, hail, and flooding. Time lapse video showing a possible tornado moving through the city of Centennial. A tornado confirmed in Highlands Ranch, damaging buildings and taking down trees. Cars losing control and crashing. Aerial footage showing rooftops ripped apart. While here in Matador, Texas, search and rescue efforts turning into a cleanup operation. Parts of the community leveled after a deadly tornado ripped through the area, killing four people and injuring 15 others. Unreal moment seeing everything flatten. The storm cut a path of destruction through the small Texas town. Nothing like this has ever happened to us. Everything was great yesterday and then boom. Devana Grundy, an EMS worker, now salvaging what she can after the tornado tore her two-story home to shreds. This morning, the reality just slapped us in the face. What was that like? I can't describe it. I can't. We have nothing. And the recovery efforts continue here this morning, but getting the power back on is a bit of a challenge because the town substation was badly damaged. However, crews hope to fully restore power by the end of the day. Lara. Faith, thank you. And we're not done with that severe weather. Ginger is here with the forecast. Good morning to you, Ginger. And Lara, what's so unique about this is here we are end of June and we're talking about tornadoes in Texas. That is much more an April or May type of event. So this is different to have about 300 severe storm reports in just the past three days, especially the southern tier of it. Here's why it's happening. We've been in this stuck pattern and I know you've heard us talk about that. It impacted the smoke weeks ago. It's impacting that record heat in Texas and the Gulf Coast. But with that trough there with the record cold that's been happening. Yes, they've been dropping records from the Pacific Northwest and the Rockies, and then you get that heat. You've got a big temperature gradient as we call it. So a big difference in temperature. And again, today we're going to see more of that activity. High Plains could see those tornadoes. Those are usually low precipitation, meaning they don't have a lot of rain around it. They're very vivid. Hopefully they stay away from any populated areas. Amarillo and Lubbock back in the target zone. So anybody who's been hit this last week needs to be on the lookout. Two ways of getting warnings Saturday and Sunday. Two Two more pockets, heavily populated, so Des Moines, almost to Cedar Rapids, Kansas City's in there, and then on Sunday, Cincinnati to Nashville. So severe storms, so not done with us yet. I'll talk more about the heat and if that breaks. Eva, coming up. All right, Ginger, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.